Have you ever wondered when you first encountered Star Trek, the next generation? Perhaps there's a scene or moment from this iconic TV series that still lingers in your memory. We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Star Trek The Next Generation made its debut in 1987, bringing the beloved science fiction universe back to the small screen. This series ventured into uncharted territory both for its characters and its audience as it introduced a new crew, a new starship, and a new era of exploration in the 24th century. The show quickly became a cultural phenomenon thanks to its thought-provoking storytelling, compelling characters, and the ever-diplomatic Captain John Luke Picard at the helm. But did you know that the series faced skepticism at first, with fans and critics unsure if it could live up to the legacy of the original Star Trek? As we dive into random facts about the show, like the development of beloved characters such as Data, the android striving to understand humanity, and the Klingon Worf, who served as a bridge between two cultures, let's also remember the personal impact it had on viewers worldwide. Now, it's your turn to engage. When was the first time you watched Star Trek? the next generation, and is there a particular scene or moment that has had a lasting impact on you? We'd love to hear your cherished memories or personal experiences related to this iconic TV series in the comments below. Star Trek The Next Generation, the iconic 1987 TV series, emerged as a worthy successor to the original Star Trek, created by Gene Roddenberry. Set in the 24th century, the show followed the adventures of the US Enterprise D and its diverse crew as they explored the vast expanse of space, promoting diplomacy, peace, and the quest for knowledge. Led by the unflappable Captain John Luke Picard, played by Patrick Stewart, the crew featured beloved characters like the android Data, the empathic counselor Troy, the Klingon Worf, and the resourceful engineer Geordi LaForge. This series stood out for its episodic storytelling combined with overarching character development and it often delved into profound philosophical and ethical dilemmas. It introduced the Borg, a formidable cybernetic species, and Q, an enigmatic and omnipotent being, leaving a lasting impact on the sci-fi genre. The next generation not only revived the Star Trek franchise, but also became a cultural phenomenon in its own right, spawning multiple films, books, and a dedicated fan base known as Trekkies. Its legacy endures as a testament to the enduring appeal of optimistic, and thought-provoking science fiction on television, continuing to inspire future generations. In 1987, the TV series Star Trek The Next Generation made its debut. One interesting fact about the show is that the original Starfleet uniforms were one-piece spandex jumpsuits. Gene Roddenberry, the series creator, insisted that these uniforms be made one size smaller than the actors and actresses wearing them. This was to ensure that the suits were perfectly skin-tight, like a second skin. These uniforms became an iconic part of the series and added to the futuristic and uniform appearance of the Starfleet crew. The tight-fitting design was a unique feature of the next generation's costumes and set it apart from the original Star Trek series. So, when you see the crew of the US Enterprise on the screen, know that their uniforms were designed to be as sleek and form-fitting as possible, thanks to Gene Roddenberry's specific vision for the show. Denise Crosby left the series feeling dissatisfied with the proper development of her character and the desire to pursue movie roles. Crosby credits Jean Roddenberry with understanding her reasons and respecting her wishes to leave the series. Crosby also maintains that most other producers would have made her stick to her contract and stay with the show. Star Trek The Next Generation, the beloved 1987 TV series, had its fair share of behind-the-scenes drama. One notable departure from the show was Denise Crosby, who played Tasha Yar, the head of security on the Starship Enterprise. Crosby's decision to leave the series stemmed from her dissatisfaction with the development of her character and her desire to pursue movie roles. What makes this departure unique is that she credits Gene Roddenberry, the creator of Star Trek, with understanding her reasons and respecting her wishes to leave. In most cases, producers would have enforced a contract and made the actor stay with the show. However, in this instance, Denise Crosby's departure was handled with a level of understanding and respect that set it apart from the norm. This departure from the show had a lasting impact on Star Trek, the next generation, and it remains a significant point of discussion among fans and within the history of the series. 
Denise Crosby's decision to leave was a bold move, and her appreciation for Gene Roddenberry's understanding makes it a unique aspect of the show's history. The series was first officially announced in late 1986 as part of events celebrating Star Trek's 20th anniversary. In late 1986, the announcement of a new Star Trek series marked a significant milestone in the franchise's history. Star Trek The Next Generation was unveiled as part of the celebrations for the 20th anniversary of the original Star Trek series. This news generated excitement among fans and set the stage for a new chapter in the Star Trek universe. The decision to launch a new series was a bold one, and it carried the weight of high expectations. The original Star Trek had become a beloved cultural phenomenon, and the idea of continuing the legacy was met with both enthusiasm and skepticism. Fans eagerly anticipated what the new series would bring to the table, and the announcement marked the beginning of a new era for the Star Trek franchise. The timing of the announcement coincided with the 20th anniversary festivities, underscoring the enduring appeal of Star Trek and its ability to captivate audiences for two decades. The announcement not only signaled the return of the beloved universe, but also the introduction of a new generation of characters and adventures. Star Trek The Next Generation would go on to become a beloved series in its own right, contributing to the lasting legacy of the Star Trek franchise. The announcement in 1986 was just the beginning of a journey that would continue to explore the final frontier in the years to come. In 1987, Star Trek The Next Generation made its debut, marking the return of the popular science fiction franchise. While the show ran for seven seasons and featured many memorable moments, one interesting fact about its production is the use of cliffhanger endings. Starting with season three, each season concluded with a cliffhanger, creating anticipation for the next season. Interestingly, the first season was originally intended to end with a cliffhanger, but this plan was scrapped due to an impending writer's strike. Had it happened, the introduction of the iconic Borg, which occurred in Star Trek, the next generation, Q who at the end of season two would have been brought forward. However, budget constraints prevented a cliffhanger ending for the second season. This unique approach to season endings added excitement for viewers and kept them eagerly awaiting the next installment of the series. It's a testament to the show's ability to engage its audience and leave them wanting more. Star Trek The Next Generation became a beloved part of the Star Trek franchise, known for its innovative storytelling and memorable characters. Despite initial plans, the show continued to evolve, leaving an indelible mark on the world of science fiction television. It's interesting to note how production decisions can shape the direction of a series and impact its lasting legacy. And that's a glimpse into one of the intriguing aspects of Star Trek. The Next Generation, a show that captured the imagination of audiences in 1987 and beyond. As we bid adieu to the boundless universe of Star Trek, The Next Generation, it's our chance to embark on one last journey of voyage not through space, but through the boundless galaxies of our own memories. This 1987 TV series, with its visionary storytelling, and charismatic crew has touched the hearts of countless viewers across the cosmos. Now, it's your turn to take a moment to reflect on your personal odyssey with this remarkable show. Think back to the first time you gazed upon the Enterprise's graceful saucer section, or the moment Captain Picard delivered his iconic phrase, make it so. Recall the thrilling encounters with the Borg, the wisdom of Data, and the boundless optimism of the human spirit, as portrayed in every episode. Did you ever dream of boldly going where no one had gone before? What did this series mean to you? How did it shape your thoughts on ethics, exploration, and the potential of humanity? Perhaps it ignited your passion for science or philosophy, or simply served as a beacon of hope in challenging times. We invite you to share your cherished memories and profound thoughts about Star Trek, the next generation. Whether it's a favorite episode, a beloved character, or a lesson that has stayed with you, your unique perspective is a part of the tapestry of this enduring legacy. So, leave your comments, let your thoughts soar like a photon torpedo, and engage with fellow travelers on this cosmic journey. Thank you for taking the time to reminisce and connect over this timeless piece of science fiction history. It's been a pleasure sharing this moment with you. Live long and prosper, and may the warp core of your memories be forever energized by the spirit of Star Trek, the next generation.